Welcome to Electron Online. In this video, along with a few more videos to come, we're going to do some examples of how to find the equivalent resistance in some circuits. And again, we use the two rules that two resistors are in series if they share the same node exclusively, and two resistors are in parallel if they each share a pair of nodes. Now take a look here in the circuit. Notice that the 4 ohm resistor and the 8 ohm resistor must be in series because they share a singular node that is not shared by any other resistors that makes 4 and 8 ohms in series and notice that here's a node and here's another node so on each end the two resistors share a common node that puts these two resistors in parallel typically we work our way down from the far end of the circuit down to the connection of the circuit to whatever source would be connected to the circuit and in this case what we're going to do is we're going to combine those two resistors and at the same time we can combine those two resistors notice these are in parallel those are in series in series the total resistance is equal to simply the sum of the two resistors if they're in parallel and there's two resistors then this then the total resistance is the product of the resistances divided by the sum of the two resistances in this case, we can write that our total is equal to 4 plus 8, which is 12 ohms. That's the equivalent resistance of those two resistors. And here we can write that our total is equal to the product 10 times 10 divided by the sum 10 plus 10, which is 100 divided by 20, which is 5 ohms for those two resistors. What we do now is we, re we redraw the circuit and replace these two resistors by a single resistor. We replace these two resistors by a single resistor, their equivalent resistance, and the circuit will now look as follows. We still have the connections A and B. We still have the 2 ohm resistor. Here we have the 7 ohm resistor. That did not change, so we still have 4 ohms over here. Oh, this is 2 ohms, sorry, 2 ohms. This here is 7 ohms. But the two 10 ohm resistors now become a single 5 ohm resistor. And the 4 and the 8 ohms together now become a 12 ohm resistor. This is a 12 ohm and this is a 10 ohm. We still have the 7 and the 2 ohm resistors. Next, we can look at these two and realize that those two must be in series because they share a common node exclusively, not shared by any other resistor. We can combine those two again. The sum of two resistors in series is simply the sum of the two. Therefore, we can draw the circuit as follows. We still have an A and a B. We still have a 2 ohm resistor. The 7 and the 10 now collapse to a single equivalent resistor. And here we have the 12 ohm resistor. So this is 12 ohms. This is still 2 ohms. This now is a 17 ohm resistor. Simply 7 plus 10 is 17 ohms. Next, we can look at these two resistors and realize that they share a pair of common nodes. On both ends, we have a common node on the top end, a common node on the bottom end. Since they share those, they must therefore be in parallel. Again, our total is equal to the product, in this case, 17 times 12 divided by 17 plus 12. That's 170 plus 34, that is 300 and, oh, 204. 204 divided by 29. And let's get a calculator out for that. Divided by 29 is 7.03 ohms. I'll just go ahead and say it's approximately 7 ohms. So we'll make that 7 ohms. These two combined now make a single resistor of 7 ohms combined with the 2 ohm resistor. This now can be drawn as follows. We have the A and the B terminals. We still have the 2 ohm resistor, but now these two are combined into a single equivalent resistor. This is a 2 ohm resistor and this is a 7 ohm resistor. And finally, we can say that two, those two resistors are in series because they, they share a common node exclusively Therefore, the equivalent resistance is simply the sum, and this circuit now becomes, from A to B, a single resistor of 9 ohms. And that's the final answer. 
the equivalent resistance, our equivalent of this circuit, is equal to 9 ohms. Keep in mind that sometimes they're asking you to find the equivalent resistance, sometimes they ask you to find the total resistance. Basically, it's the same thing. They're asking for the equivalent or total resistance of the circuit. You go to the exact same process. It's just a different name for basically the same thing. And that's how we do that.